Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while and I apologize for my absence. I really wanted to make this video today because I recently saw Chanel's latest release and I'm not talking about their handbags or their fashion items. I'm talking about the beauty product. So Chanel recently released a keepsake lipstick. They've said they've been developing and designing the lipstick case for four years and I just wanted to come on here and talk about it because I feel so passionate about it. I feel passionate about not purchasing this lipstick because not only is the design not, I guess it's beautiful, it's pretty, obviously it's Chanel, but it's not like unique, it's not eye-catching, it's not, I don't know, it's just not something wow. And also the price tag of it. So in Australia, the Chanel lipstick case with a refillable lipstick is 235 Australian dollars and I just think that is daylight robbery like how can you spend over 200 dollars on a lipstick I get that it's refillable I think the refillable ones cost maybe around 80 to 100 dollars for the bullet that you can put into the case but for over 200 dollars for a lipstick case it's made out of glass it's not even made out of like 24 karat gold like the little gold part of it if you guys haven't seen the chanel lipstick which where have you been <laughs> uh we'll put an image on screen so you can have a look and decide for yourself whether or not you think it's worth 235 dollars the chanel advertising around this made it seem like it was the most revolutionary most amazing unique piece in the whole lipstick world and i just looked at it and i'm like it kind of looks familiar. It kind of looks like something else. A lot of people on social media have mentioned that the Chanel lipstick case looks a lot like the L'Oreal lipstick. I don't know what the collection is, but I'll put it on screen so you can have a look. I'm not sure if L'Oreal still do this collection, but it looks exactly like the Chanel lipstick. Obviously it's got like fridges around it, but it's still a clear case. It's obviously made out of plastic versus glass. But I mean, the L'Oreal lipsticks, they cost from 10 to $20. You can get them half price and yeah, I just think $20 versus $235, they look very similar. Obviously, the formula is going to be a little bit different, but I mean, it's a lipstick. You can try way more colors with the L'Oreal lipstick, but still get the same look in your handbag. But honestly, $235, I've got so many more alternatives, like alternative beautiful lipstick cases out there. If you guys are interested, I'll be going through some of my top picks in my collection with you today. And none of the lipsticks that I'm about to recommend cost nearly as much as... $235. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into my recommendations and what I think you should purchase instead of the Chanel lipstick. So the obvious alternative would be the dupe of it, which is the L'Oreal lipstick. So the clear one, I think I've seen they have like rose gold ones out now as well, which is really beautiful. So it's still a clear case, but the bullet of the lipstick is rose gold. So if you want something a little bit different, I'd highly recommend that. And as I mentioned, it ranges from about $10 to $20. So yeah, the L'Oreal lipstick is the perfect dupe for the Chanel lipstick. And honestly, I feel like the Chanel lipstick is actually making me want to purchase the L'Oreal lipstick instead because it's so much more affordable. You get the same look and you're paying like a fraction, a micro fraction of the price. So the second lipstick product that I highly recommend that has the most beautiful packaging is from Jill Stewart. And I don't think you can purchase Jill Stewart in Australia, but I'm pretty sure you can purchase them online. I purchased these products from Japan. So Japan have these in their department stores and I fell in love with the packaging. Like everything from Jill Stewart is beautiful. It's very like romantic princess and it's so, so stunning. So I bought two of them and I haven't used them yet because they're so beautiful. I still keep them in the little box. But once you see the packaging of these, you'll be like, okay, this is way more beautiful than the Chanel lipstick. This is the Rouge Lip Blossom. I think this is a satin formula. So wait till you see this packaging. It's so stunning. This is plastic, so it is very light. So I guess that's why it's so much more affordable. I think this retails from about $30 to $40. So it's got a gemstone there. It's got Jill Stewart engraved on the side. And it's so beautiful. It's got the beading all around it. The one thing that I absolutely love about this lipstick case is the top. So look at how beautiful the top is. Doesn't that remind you of the Van Cleef & Arpels Vintage Alhambra Guilloche pendant? It's got all the facets around it. And not only is this beautiful, it also pops open like that. And it's a little mirror. You can take the lid off, you apply the lipstick, and you can use that little mirror to guide you. And it's so cute. And it's also see-through 
down there so you can see the color of the lipstick without actually popping it open so you can't see it on camera now but in person you can actually see it really well it's got the facet glass look there even though it's all plastic but it's got that beautiful shiny facet i just love how like they've thought of every little detail this just looks so beautiful and yeah this is so like revolutionary to me because it's got the little mirror on top they utilize every bit of the packaging they've got this beautiful gemstone here it's very jill stewart-esque so if you've seen any of the jill stewart line you'll know that they're very as i mentioned very princess-like very romantic very beautiful very soft feminine packaging so this is the lipstick version i also got the lip glow serum balm so it's kind of like the i want to say the dual lip glows and i just got this one because the packaging as well so very similar to this but it's this gorgeous almost like rosy gold i wouldn't even say rose gold it's more like a purpley shade but you can see the difference there hopefully it's the same it's got the gemstone which is in like the pinky purple color it's got the top pendant with the mirror like that and this one i purchased in this beautiful coral shade so this is perfect for summer i haven't used these yet because i just don't want to ruin the top of it i've got so many other lipsticks i need to get through first but i picked these up when i went to japan in april this year and i just think that these are so beautiful and as i mentioned they're only like 30 to 40 australian dollars each so super affordable, not like super affordable like drugstore prices, but I mean compared to $200, I think that these are definitely worth it. So definitely pick them up. If they don't sell them in your country, definitely check out the Jill Stewart website. I'm sure they do international shipping. I will leave these linked down below in case that they do and also the colors that I purchased. But just look at the packaging. I just love these. So I would highly recommend Jill Stewart lipsticks. So the next lipstick I recommend comes in a refillable case and it's the Guerlain lipstick. I don't know if the exact name of it, but it's the one that comes with the case. So I purchased it in this beautiful pinky pearlescent iridescent color. And it's so, so stunning. Like if you were to give me this or the Chanel lipstick, I would go for this any day of the week. And it's really weighty. It's really well made. And the one thing that I love about it too is not only the color, but also when you take out the lipstick there this flips open so and you've got like a mirror there so i won't blind you with it but it flips open both sides are mirrors and it just flips open like that so in order to close it you need to put the lipstick back in and it's got the little g like symbol for galan and you close it off there and yeah that's what the lipstick case looks like it's this beautiful bullet it's so luxurious and you can get so many different colors, so many different patterns in the lipstick case. So whatever pattern or color that goes with your style, you can purchase or you can mix and match depending on the season or the festivities. You can change up the packaging, but I just love this color. It's such a beautiful iridescent pinky purpley lilac color. And yeah, this is just so luxurious. So the color that I got, I can't remember exactly. If I do find it online, I will link it down below. And it's just this perfect pinky nudie color. I just love this color. I just think it goes with like everything. It goes really well with my shade. So you'll notice that a lot of the colors of lipsticks that I'm about to show you are in this nudie pink color. And again, it is refillable. So once you use up the lipstick, you can repurchase just one of these. I think the lipsticks themselves retail for about $30 to $40 and then the case is around $50 depending on what type of case you get. I know some of them have like all these like diamantes all around it, which will obviously be a little bit more expensive, but they range from about $50. So all up, still under $100 for a lipstick and definitely under the $200 mark. So the next lipstick I want to share is an oldie but a goodie and it's the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine lipsticks. And how can you deny this beautiful packaging? So it's a gold bullet with the color of the lipstick inside and around it's just got the YSL logo in circle. And this is a really nice weighty lipstick as well. And this was on my recommended top five recommended lipsticks that I did a couple of years ago, which I will leave down below. If you haven't seen that video yet, I recommended all my favorite lip products in that video. And this was definitely on it. The color again is that pinky nude color. And I love the smell of these. Like they smell like watermelon, even though I've had this for a couple of years, like a few years actually, it still smells so nice and it hasn't gone off or anything. It's still a beautiful shade. 
and the packaging is just stunning so you can't go wrong with this and i'm pretty sure this retails for around 65 dollars which i think is still a reasonable price for a luxury lipstick product you can find these anywhere like sephora your department stores often sephora will do 20 percent off you can pick these up in that sale as well so i will leave that in the description box below too everything that i mentioned today i will leave the color and the lipstick in the description box below. So the next product I want to share is not necessarily a lipstick, it's more like a lip gloss. I think they call it a lip balm but I'm going to classify it as a lip gloss because of the nature of it and it's from Westman Atelier and it comes in this beautiful black dust bag. It's so cute, it's like a little cotton dust bag, drawstring dust bag that you can pull. So this is a very luxurious brand, Westman Atelier. She has the most amazing like highlighters, blushes, powders, the case of everything is so nice and weighty so you know it's very luxurious. You're getting what you pay for, the little dust bag and then you just pop it open like that and it's this gorgeous matte black case and this is made out of glass. You can feel and hear how like thick this glass is and that's the colour I have there. So you've got the Westman Atelier embossed there and then the lid is like the shiny like plastic. So this isn't glass but the rest of the bottle is. So you just twist it open like a traditional lip gloss and as I mentioned earlier it's more like a lip gloss than a lipstick but this is really nice. It's really hydrating. It's a really beautiful like soft shade of pink, like a baby pink. It just gives a nice little flush of colour. Not too much, it's more like a clear gloss but it gives that little bit of like milky texture to it. You know like NARS Turkish Delight, it's kind of like that and I just think this is so beautiful and the one thing that I love about this is the packaging here. So look at how gorgeous that little detail is. It has Westman Atelier embossed in this gold rim around the top of the lid and that is that little bit of luxury that you want from packaging, from a luxury brand. That's the kind of detail that I want from the Chanel lipstick or wanted from the Chanel lipstick but there was nothing wow from it, like all it was was it's made out of glass. But yeah, it just it's just a plain glass lipstick with a gold rim that's not even made out of like 24K plating. They should have made it like the 24K plating that they used for the vintage handbags. That would have been something really unique and special. But yeah, anyway, so this is what the product looks like. And look at how that is just stunning, like... Look at how beautiful that is, that black and gold just goes so well together. In Australia, they sell Westman Atelier at Mecca and I think this retails for around 60 Australian dollars. So I'd still highly recommend this, even for that $60 mark. This is such a weighty product, like the packaging is just there. Like you cannot go wrong with Westman Atelier packaging. And this is the epitome of luxury. That little touch of gold just there is so beautiful. The next lipstick I want to talk about is not refillable but the packaging is just stunning and this is actually from a luxury brand and it's the Hermes lipstick. This is the satin formula so each of their formulas have different packaging but I think that this is just so stunning like that engraving on it it's actually engraved you can feel it on the bullet it gives that really vintage vibe and it's just so so beautiful and then at the top it just says Gucci engraved there and then you just lift it open and twist open the lipstick and again it's like this brown nudie colour which I have so many of these in my collection I just I always gravitate towards it but the reason why I have so many lipsticks in my collection in this colour is mainly because of the packaging so packaging really does sell me on products I'm such a sucker for packaging so if Chanel had beautiful packaging on their lipsticks something unique I definitely would pick it up but because it's just like that glass case I'm not really drawn to it as much so this one is a little bit more pricey I think it's gone up a bit in recent times but it retails for 72 Australian dollars but again I think I picked this up in Sephora when they had like 15 or 20 percent off so you can save a little bit on this they do sell like quite quickly so as soon as they have a sale definitely jump on it and purchase one the other formulas I think there's one that has like ridges all around it which is really beautiful as well but I just love this vintage packaging and also the satin formulas I gravitate more towards rather than matte. I find matte quite drying. So yeah, I'd highly recommend this satin formula lipstick from Gucci. And then the lucky last lipstick that I wanted to recommend that you should get instead of the Chanel lipstick is from a luxury house and it also comes in this beautiful dust bag. So this, if you guys don't know already, is from Hermes. So it has the 
Hermes H embossed on top and how beautiful is that gold there that is so so luxurious so all you do is just pop it open like that or slip it out and this is the packaging here so this is the lip balm version I'm pretty sure the lipstick versions have a black cap so yeah they have different variations in packaging but they all have like this tri-color here so the color that I got is this pinky nude color and I love how the bottom shows you the color that you purchased so you just pop open the lid and the lid is magnetic which is another sign of luxurious packaging and this is the lip balm that I purchased so as I mentioned this is the lip balm and I believe these are also refillable as well so you can take this out and repurchase it for a fraction of the cost I'm pretty sure like 60 or 70 dollars to replace the bullet if you run out of this this is obviously made out of like plastic this part here is quite weighty though so I think this is metal but the top part and the bottom part are plastic so obviously not as luxurious as the Chanel glass case lipstick case but this is still half the price of the Chanel one. It also comes with this beautiful dust bag. And this dust bag actually feels really nice and thick, really well made, very simple. We just pop it in like that. The Chanel lipstick case, the actual case for the lipstick case, it looks like a really like cheap felt in my opinion. It's got the beautiful like crisscross of the quilted Chanel handbag pattern, but just from what I've seen online, it doesn't look that luxe in my opinion. It's got like a button closure. This is a really beautiful piece, but I think if I were to recommend anything out of what I've just recommended today, I would highly recommend the Jill Stewart lipstick. I just think that this is so stunning, especially with the top being a mirror as well. It's so unique. I haven't seen anything like this before and it's one of the more affordable ones as well so definitely check out Jill Stewart or if you head to Japan I think they sell it in Hong Kong and other countries as well definitely check Jill Stewart out but yeah those are my recommendations on what I think you should purchase over the Chanel lipstick let me know what you guys think in the comment section below are you still going to purchase the Chanel lipstick even after watching this video and seeing all my recommendations are you still a huge Chanel lover? Do you love the packaging? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. But until next time, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.